So we all know forms as a great way to test a student on what they know and understand. But what you might not realize is that it's also a great way to instruct your students. So in this video, we are going to explain how Google Forms can be a tool of instruction, especially right now when we're all in the online learning mode and for anybody using a flipped classroom model for the future. The first thing that you want to do is you want to start thinking about how you're organizing your work. So I'm going to go down to below all of this introductory bits, all the things that are more administrative for you to keep things organized. And I'm going to click this button right here off to the side that says add section. And that adds it immediately below the question that I had open. I'm going to give it a title. Now, the cool thing when you add a section is that whatever is immediately underneath it on the student view gets combined together. And using this feature can really help to make things pop and catch the attention of the students. This makes it a great place to put directions that apply to every question on the page or some big statement that you want them all to pay really close attention to. Go over here to the side and use the add title and description write something like this and then when I look at it in my student view you can see right here I have big bold and purple the heading for this section and attached immediately to it is my description now I did not put this in the actual description box I didn't put it here because that would make it really small so you can see that description box gives it a really small font, whereas if I use the add title and description feature, it makes it bigger, it makes it bolder, it makes it stand out more easily read by my students. Now I told you before that the thing that comes immediately after the new section gets attached to it. This does not just mean your text, but it could also include something like a instructional video. So off to the right, I have my option to add a video. And I can insert any YouTube video. So either you find one that already exists or you take a lesson that you filmed yourself doing, you upload it to YouTube and you can do the search if you know the exact title or you can just come over to the URL box, find your video, copy and paste it in. And then you'll see your video shows up in the preview window. You can press play and watch and make sure it's the right one. And then you just click select and it puts it in if I add a title here, it helps me give a description to my students of what they need to do. And then I'm going to want to tap my video and drag the corners of it to be as big as it can be. And I do this because in the student view, it shows up the same size as it does on your view. And they do not have the option to watch it in full screen mode. Because I have my section heading, I have no description, and then I have my video. When I go to my preview, it's all connected in that section heading, so it shows up as being really important for the students. And then below it, you have your questions. Now the best thing about using forms for your instructional delivery instead of something like Edpuzzle is that it allows you to put multiple videos into the same form. I can go down, click the question that I want the section to appear underneath, add a new section, and then I can go through the process again of adding another video. So while something like Edpuzzle is limited to one video at a time, you can link them all together here in Forms. And using sections helps you keep things organized for your students so that they know all of the questions on this page are all related to the same video. So thinking it through combining sections, with videos and questions that match those videos is a really great way to help you deliver content to your students digitally. You're flipping the instruction around so that they are doing it at their own pace and it's all there together for them to view at the same time. They don't have to go between pages. They don't have to have multiple tabs open. So it's a great tool. There are other things you can do as well to make it even stronger. And we'll explore that in the next video on how you can use response validation to help you differentiate your instruction that's being delivered through forms.